when it comes to levelling your bed, should you use paper or feeler gauges? Stick around to find out. Hello world, I'm Paul and welcome to my channel. Bed adhesion would have to be the single most frustrating part of 3D printing, and a lot of the problems can be solved just by setting the correct gap between the print bed and the nozzle. So today I want to do a test. I want to compare my method of using feeler gauges to level the bed versus using a sheet of A4 paper. First up, we're going to level the print bed with an A4 sheet of paper. The paper is a sheet of standard photocopy paper and its thickness is 80 GSM. That's 80 grams per square metre. The first thing I notice is that the gap previously set by the feeler gauge is too tight. I need the paper to move freely under the nozzle, with a moderate amount of resistance. In the past I've read that you should have slight resistance, but after seeing how much closer the feeler gauge gap is, I'm going for a good amount of resistance. After a bit of experimentation, I've decided that if I can push and pull the sheet of paper while still feeling the drag of the nozzle, then that's a good gap. If I can pull on the paper, but it jams when pushing, then the gap is too tight. I level each corner twice to make sure the gap is consistent across the bed. And now it's time for the isopropyl alcohol. I like to give it a good soak and then scrub it into the bed with a clean paper towel. Now that our bed is level, our print surface is squeaky clean. It's time to print. For this print, I'm printing a 20mm cube in vase mode with an open top. The cube should take about 20 minutes to print, and give a good indication of bed adhesion. So far, adhesion looks good with the paper levelled print. And success! The print is finished and still stuck to the bed. Let's see how easy or difficult it is to remove. Initial adhesion seems pretty good. There's no lifting corner to get my scraper under. Once the corner has lifted though, the whole part comes easily off the bed. Maybe a little too easily. Looking at the bottom and first layer of the print, it looks really good. I'm very happy with the way that looks, apart from a few spots of under extrusion. I'm starting to see more of that lately. I think there may be dirt particles building up inside my nozzle. Might be due for a clean. All in all, I'd say this was a fine print and the adhesion was good. Now it's time to test the feeler gauge method. As the gap set by the paper is now larger, the feeler gauge slips under fairly easily. Time to tighten things up. I do all four corners twice, as I did with the paper levelling. I'm setting the gap so that I can feel a moderate amount of drag on the blade of the feeler gauge. If you have to force the feeler gauge in, the gap's too tight. The room temperature's now come up half a degree to 23 degrees Celsius. Add a nice spray of isopropyl alcohol, scrub it in with a clean paper towel, and we're good to go. Exact same G-code file as before. 20mm cube in vase mode with an open top. I've left the top open to save print time. First layer is going down nicely. All is looking good. Righto, print's done. Let's see what it's like to remove. I'm noticing that the adhesion has a little more bite than before. The part definitely feels a little more stubborn. There we go. Interesting. As I slide the blade under the part, it feels like it's sucked onto the bed more. Let's have a side by side comparison. The paper levelled print definitely seems to release easier. There's not a huge difference, but it's noticeable. Let's compare the first layers. If you look closely at the edges of the print on the right hand side, you can see the layer line starting to get smudged together. This is the feeler gauged print. The print with the closer gap. 
turning the cubes onto their sides, reveals a bit of deformation on the first few layers of the feeler gauged print. Notice how it flares out slightly at the bottom. I believe this shape is called elephant's foot. Other than those two minor issues on the feeler gauged print, I think both prints have come up well and are fairly comparable. Now let's have a look at those gaps. A4 paper gap on the left and feeler gauge gap on the right. I thought it might be useful to show you this so you can get down to your printer's nozzle height and see how the gap compares, especially if you're having trouble with bed adhesion. So which do I think is the winner? Well for finish, I'd go with the paper leveled print. The first layer lines are cleaner and there's no deformation to the base of the print. But for adhesion, I'd go with the feeler gauge print. Although there was only a subtle difference to adhesion, sometimes a little is all you need to get that print across the line. The feeler gauge print is not perfect, but it's still very good. And when it comes to printing parts, I'll go for adhesion any day of the week. I also know from experience that as soon as the weather gets colder and the temperature drops, the wider gapped paper leveled print will start lifting sooner. Well that's it. Just a little look at the way I go about setting up for prints and why I do the things I do. This is in no way intended to be a scientific test, but it does back up for me what I've been experiencing since I bought my first 3D printer and started 3D printing. Thanks for watching everyone. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Have a great day and I'll see you later.